Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Fellowship Hall, where we have people. You're not actually peeling peaches. What are you doing here today? I'm making pie crumbs today. And that will be part of uh, the peach pie. Great. All right. I know there's some people in the kitchen. No, it's only. Hello, Harriet. Hi. Are things coming along as they should be? Are things coming along as they should be? I don't know. I just got here. Oh, okay. All right. I see Jerry in the dishwashing area. Jerry, how are things going on this side? Not too much to clean today? Under control. There was lots. Ah, okay. I missed it. And this is, uh, I'm recording this at about 1030 on Wednesday. Oh, I see Brett here. He's checking out the new peaches that just came in. Hey, Brett, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. And Charlie, you've worked up a sweat. You've been working hard today. Well, it's hot and, over there. But it's up and Judy. better here now, yes. So what, over where? Where were you? What was going on? Sanctuary, we were putting some peaches there because it's a little bit warmer and they'll, they'll ripen. We need them to ripen <laughs> and it's not that warm in here. So right. uh, we, pray we put that a couple ripen. tables up. That's we're right. Putting the ones in the sanctuary so they get blessed. <laughs> oh, all right. They will have they're, a blessing. Maybe I'll, blessed. I'll go preach to the peaches over there. Maybe that will help. Okay. Hello, Sharon. So I'm going to head over to, the, this is the fellowship hall. I'm going to go to the social hall and see what's going on over there. I was just down at Splash and they are celebrating all the holidays this week. And it's Easter today. So they just had an Easter egg hunt. Some of the older kids hid eggs for the younger kids. Um, the Peach Festival is coming up this Saturday, August 19th, and there will be live entertainment. There will be all sorts of peach things to buy. And the white elephant sale will be going on. The kids, there will be all sorts of games for the kids to do. And uh, what else? Good morning, Pastor. Hey, Dean, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? And Gail, right here, you just brought some things in for the white elephant sale, right? Yes. Absolutely, we have lots of stuff. So uh, people will see this on Thursday or later. So I think we're closing uh, how much people can bring in, um, but I'm gonna find out more about that. But thank you for bringing in things. A lot of people have brought in some good stuff. Good. And I can see down the hallway that there are lots of books. And Ty, you're working, are you working on books or something else down there? I'm looking at books. Checking them out. All right. He's so looking to buy. You that's one buy. of the benefits of buyer. being a volunteer. You can <laughs> yes. look at things like, look at all you these puzzles right there. All right, see you later. Hello, Michelle. You're carrying something out of yes, here. Yes, I'm buying a dog bed. Ooh, buying a dog bed. In case, oh. in case I need Hello, to Peggy. All right. We're doing great, Peggy. How are things going here in the the white elephant sale? In the oh, wonderful. Room? Um, welcome to our room, a social room <laughs> down here at St. Paul's. Get a little look at what's going on. Uh, and oh, there's all the ladies that help. Uh, we were working on this since Monday. Uh -huh. uh, the prices are good. Please come. All right. You name it and we have it. So uh, I'm recording this Wednesday, but and we're getting about the last of new things coming in and then the sale no more things can come in after today right yeah after 12 so that's after, after 12. today okay yes. so then on um, what are your hours of sale uh, this week friday from eight to four eight to four on friday Good. yes and saturday from eight to six or seven whenever we sell everything after. all right all uh, right until you're all sold out yeah Good. yes and uh I understand you've what, what are some of the good things that have come in this week that are going to be sold oh there's a lot of good we have uh, uh appliances uh we have a, a lot of houseware stuff we have games puzzles uh and also we're having a book sale out in the hallway um fill the bag for five dollars um Sounds our like prices deal. like i said are really good Terrific. And, uh, we have we have a lot of things um, we have women's out in the hallway, um, see them a lot of nice crystal, um, wow. we have, uh, Kirk Clifford bought 12 totes in with his wife's stuff that she had, uh, 
Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, different seasonal fruit. People yeah. know that Gail Clifford was a great decorator, a great party Absolutely. thrower, and uh, Absolutely. and so we thought, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not going to have 20 people over for uh, for Halloween again, yeah. so. Uh, I'll make sure this gets into somebody else's hands. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah. That was, was oh, great you're of you welcome. to do. Yeah. Please come yeah. if you have time. We'll be here. Great. Okay, thank you. And thank you, Peggy. I'm going to just continue to talk as I walk through. Maybe you'll see something that you wish you could get. Hello, Shelby. Hello, <laughs> Sheila. Hello. Um, our scripture for today comes from Genesis 45, verses 4 and 7. We're going to continue a little bit more of the story of Joseph. And this is what he says to his brothers. I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold in Egypt. He has to say that because I don't recognize him. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve you as a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. That's Genesis 45 verse four and then a little bit of verse seven. Hello, Jackie, how's Hello. it going? Very good. Just, just pricing the last of the items. Pricing things and figuring out where they best yep. fit, right? Very good. <laughs> and uh, our prayers for today, I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I'm thinking of the people of Maui. And I've had several people ask me, is that where I was? I served on the island of Kauai with a K for six years. But I had friends that were on Maui. In fact, uh, one pastor friend who was Hawaiian, um, he passed away a few years ago. But... He was a pastor in Lahaina, right at the center of where probably his church uh, is gone now. Um, and I understand 46,000 people have been flown out of Maui. That means people have to find places for them to stay. Maybe they have friends and family. Maybe they're in hotels. Maybe uh, some places have been opened up for them. And uh, at least 96 people have lost their lives in the fires in Maui. So I want that to be our focus for our prayers today as we look at another room of all the books that are laid out here in the choir room. Lord God, we pray for the people of Maui that have had such a um, devastating time, and we thank you for signs of your grace in people who are serving and helping and donating and bringing um, opening their homes to people, and we pray for more relief in Jesus' name and for more comfort and peace, especially those who have lost their homes and those who have lost loved ones. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And thinking about them, our song for today is a song that is well-loved in Hawaii. You're going to name it, know it as Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us, and it is one of many songs that is in some ways based on the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is My Shepherd. However, this one doesn't try to paraphrase it. It more takes the idea from it and adjusts it. I see someone putting a sign out there. Can you see them right about there in a red shirt? They're putting a sign out. That might be, I can't tell who that is. Ooh, it looks like it's Man Van Fleet. So here's the song. Kahu no ke kahu hipa, kahu hipa mai kai e, e a maku ka ohana, ke ho aloha ahai, e aloha, e aloha. Ala ka ia hanai mai. E aloha, e aloha. Ala ka ia 